Hello, English students. Welcome to this video. I am Fabi Fitzgerald, and today I'm going to talk to you about adjectives. What, are, what is a function of an adjective in a sentence or in a statement or in a question? An adjective describes or gives more information about a noun or a pronoun, right? Okay, so let's begin. I have four examples here written on the board and you are going to help me circle the nouns, I mean the adjectives, all right? This is a big whiteboard in a peaceful classroom, okay? As I already told you, adjectives describe or give more information about nouns or pronouns, all right? So this is a big whiteboard in a peaceful classroom. Which of these words in, these, in this sentence are, are adjectives? Big is one of them, right? This is a big whiteboard. It describes this noun here, whiteboard. This is a big whiteboard in a peaceful classroom. This one right here describes or gives you more information about the classroom, which is also a noun. This is a big whiteboard in a peaceful classroom. All right, the second example I have here on the board says, we have over 400 videos on YouTube about our crazy English lessons. <laughs> we have over 400. This one here gives you more information about our videos on YouTube. Okay, so this is the noun here, videos and YouTube are two nouns, right? Let me not confuse you with this. Videos on YouTube about our crazy. Crazy is another adjective that describes our English lessons, right? We have over 400 videos about our crazy English lessons, all right? So those are the two adjectives we're using in this example. The next one says, he is a very nice patient man in a very long line, all right? Right here we have a personal pronoun. I'm just, let me just underline it and not circle it so I don't get you confused, okay? So this is what we're going to describe. He, he is a very, what? He is a very nice and patient. He is a very nice, patient man Okay, that describes and gives more information about the pronoun. In a very long line. Line would be the second thing to describe. Long line. Okay, so these are the three adjectives we are using in this example. All right, the next one says, she is, she's, okay, she is. We could just take off the contraction. We're just gonna use, she is. She is a lovable girl with huge expectations, all right? Lovable would be the adjective because we are describing this pronoun, right? She is a lovable girl with huge would be the second adjective, which, which would describe expectations. Okay, she is a lovable girl with huge expectations, all right? So, <clears throat> remember that adjectives describe or give more information about a noun or a pronoun, all right? In the next part of this video, I'm gonna give you some practice sentences so that you can get this topic a little bit more clearer, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. All right, now we are going to practice. Um, you are going to help me underline the adjectives or the words that describe or give more information about a noun or pronoun, all right? The first example here says, her mother has beautiful hair and big blue eyes. Which of these do you think I should underline? Which of these do you think are adjectives? Her mother, has beautiful hair 
Okay, we are about to describe a pronoun. Not really, right? A noun. Person, place, or thing. Her mother. Her mother has beautiful hair and big blue eyes. She has beautiful hair. Beautiful would describe her hair, which would be a noun, right? We're describing this person here, describing her hair, right? Her mother has beautiful hair. So this one right here would be the adjective. Adjective. Beautiful hair and big blue eyes. So right here, we have another adjective, big, to describe her eyes. Blue is another adjective that we're using to describe her mother's eyes. Okay? Her mother has beautiful adjective, hair, and big adjective, blue adjective, eyes. Okay? Next one. Many countries have a dreadful economy. We are going to describe the economy of many countries. Okay? Many countries have a dreadful. Dreadful would be the adjective, right? Because it would describe the economy of many countries. Many countries have a dreadful economy because of inefficient governments. Inefficient. This would be the second adjective we're using here to describe and or give more information about the governments in many countries. All right? Many countries have a dreadful economy because of inefficient governments. All right? The next one says Japan is one of the most powerful countries in the world. We are describing Japan, which is a noun, person, place, or thing, right? Is one of the most powerful. Powerful would be the adjective. Powerful countries in the world, all right? Next one. He behaved professional and educated during his job interview, okay? We are going to describe his behavior, which is a noun, or an intangible, untouchable thing, a thing that cannot be perceived by the senses, even though it's a thing, or an idea. He behaved professional and educated during his job interview. How did he behave? Describe his behavior. Professional, this would be an adjective. And educated, or educated would be the second adjective we're using to describe his behavior. Okay? All right, so these are the four examples I have here for you. I hope you got it clear and concise. All right, next I'm going to leave you some homework because you need to practice in order to improve your English. Thanks for watching. Okay, students, here's your homework. You are going to describe or give more information about a noun or pronoun, filling in the blanks of each of these sentences or underlining the adjectives that we're using in this sentence. All right? The first one says he has a blank car. Everybody, I'm sorry, Ms. the Y here. Everybody tells him it is wonderful, okay? He has a blank car. If everybody says it's wonderful, you have to look for an adjective that will describe that car positively, okay? The next one says they said it was a blank painting. You are going to describe an unpleasant painting to look at, okay? So you are going to look for an adjective that will describe the painting in a negative or unpleasant way, okay? And the last one says there was a beautiful car outside, outside the large mall on a hot 
day in a steamy summer weather. And these right here, you're going to circle or underline the, the adjectives, okay? If you have a workbook, you can just go ahead and write your homework in the workbook or circle the adjectives in the workbook. And if not, please leave your homework in the comment section below this video. For example, you can say sentence one, we have this adjective. Sentence two, we have this adjective. Sentence three, we are using these four or five, I don't know how many adjectives, okay? So please do your homework because you need to practice to improve your English. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Fabi Fitzgerald and I'm very glad to see you in this class. Would you like to watch my next video? Okay. Click on the television to the right. Describe um, nouns, adjectives, or other adverbs, okay? They tell you how, when, and to...